What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode 3 of my Dub or L series. Thank you for the support on the last two episodes. They are my most successful videos since coming back uh, onto YouTube uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, let's see what we've got. So we've got the winner, Kembembe. This is who I voted for. Uh, 88 pace, 93 defending, 94 physical. Pretty good. It's kind of up there, maybe slightly below the, the power curve on the face card stats anyway. Decent dribbling and passing though for a centre back. Medium high, pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a solid card. Obviously the balance is a little bit low, but for a defender, not really too bad. Uh, the physicals are near enough immaculate uh, for what actually counts, which is stamina, strength and aggression. Um, defending, yeah, yeah, this, this is a solid card. Uh, two segments. Uh, we'll have a look, see if there's anything else before we go into that. So we've got summer heat voting day. Uh, okay, so I'll back out and get the voting. Uh, I imagine we've got marquee matchups, marquee moments. So yeah, the usual. Uh, we will go through those. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a look and see who the voting is for this. I believe it's a position change or something um, for this one. Like if the leaks are to be believed. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Well, no one's going to go for Munai or Munai, however you say it, the right back for Dortmund. Um, Dembele or Maxime. Oh, I don't know who's going to win that. I know who I'm voting for, but okay. So Cam would be Munia. Uh, sorry, Dembele would be a Cam. Saint Maxime will be a striker, or Munia will be a CDM. I am definitely going to vote for St. Maxime. Uh, that card is absolutely ridiculous. His foot birthday. So 100%. I know a lot of people, you know, Barca fans and a lot of people do like Dembele. But yeah, that St. Maxime card will probably have five star, five star. He will be terrific. Uh, we'll check the objective, see if there's anything. So doesn't look as though there is. Nope. Uh, that 50k pack is obviously from yesterday and you cannot play friends to do this You have to do it on online friendlies, which is a little bit annoying uh, Nothing on milestones, of course. So yeah, let's see the let's see what the rating is for this Kimbembe If it's anything more than an 83 and an 84 probably not worth it in my opinion. So it's an 83 and an 85 mm. I mean, what's an 85 rated squad? Let's have a quick look on Footbin. Uh, see if we can find it. From memory, I think that's about 120k. Uh, so if I do that, yeah, there we go. So let's have a look. So we'll go back on SBC's active challenges. See who has an 85 rated uh, SBC. Did Ericsson? I think Ericsson might have had an 85. From memory let's have a look what was this this was 85 yeah so it's about 120k as i say what's the chemistry on yeah 70 chemistry on this and 70 chemistry on the ericsson one so yeah definitely um gonna be around about 180k i i'm not sure I, i'm really not sure i mean it's a good card but there's just so many that you could go and get on the market even in uh league one you've got the star card too who i suppose gets a strong link if you do want to do it um he's slightly cheaper i don't know maybe a small dub if you if you want to run a french team or a league one site it's not a bad card for the stats i just maybe a little overpriced in my opinion um Right, well, we've got a summer heat voting SBC for a draft token, and I'm presuming a two rare players pack, but I will have a look. Three rares, 79 overall, 45 chemistry. I love that. Nice and easy, piece of piss. You don't have to think about that at all. Premium gold players pack, that's a big dub. Big, big dub. 100%. You're getting 40k's worth of content for 5k, 8k outlay, so that's good. Uh, marquee matchups, let's see what we've got. Spartak Moscow, lo uh, Locomotive Moscow. Players from same league. Okay, so it's got to be gold practically, 75. So you got three minutes, right. Okay, that's not too bad. A gold players pack. Nothing too uh, arduous there, I don't think. Uh, Leverkusen versus Bayern. Two Bundesliga clubs, max five. I hate when they do that. Um, it, it, just purely because I don't have a lot in the club at the minute because I keep putting it into SPC, so I have to buy. But prime Electrum players pack. It's not too bad. Um, just yeah, pick five clubs pretty much. Spurs or Everton players won. Um, I like that. You know, there's pretty much no requirements, just minimum six uh, six nationalities. That's for a pr uh, rare mixed players pack. Definitely good value there. 
And then players from same league, maximum three, max three from one club. 81 overall, ooh, for a 25k pack. Okay, these three aren't bad. Uh, the Spurs Everton one's definitely the best uh, value, I think. But an 81 rated squad, that's expensive with 85 chemistry. I, I don't know if marquee matchups is going to be worth it. Like, I don't know. Because even like, well, the fullbacks and the, the wingers in particular, the 81 rated cards, even they are a couple of K. So just trying to get the, the chemistry, you'd have to get an 82 or an 83, like a couple of them just to balance it out. So I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a little bit... Hmm. The, the, if you're going to do it personally, I would say do these three. And then, you know, if you've got untradeables in the club, do the Villarreal and the Barcelona bit so you get your 25k pack, you get your 45k pack. But if you don't and you've got to buy the players, I, w I would recommend doing these three and seeing what you get in the packs and then proceed from there. So I'd say these three are a win. That's definitely an L, uh, the Villarreal, Barcelona. So overall, probably a small L for marquee matchups. It, it was a 50k pack last week as well. So they're, they're downscaling, which is a bit annoying. Marquee moments, uh, premium electrum. So three rares, six silvers, six golds, uh, 12 and a half K pack. What do we got for this? Um, players from one club, minimum three. Okay, that's not too bad. 75. Okay, it's a tradable pack. That's probably a win. Uh, nothing too shabby there. Uh, no ridiculous requirements. And that's it for today's content, isn't it? Have I went through it all? Yeah. So definitely a big win for this. Everyone should do this. Free draft token, 15K value, uh, and then a premium gold players pack for pff, now pretty much. A 79 rated squad, you can just snipe some players quite easily. 45 chemistry, easy, easy. Um, the the sum of Oten's going to be interesting. Uh, I, I, I don't know who's going to win. It could be Dembele, especially if uh, the other one when Jovic and Kent were out. Uh, for the casuals, they might go for rating. So Dembele's got a good chance. But that St. Maxim card, I really hope he does win because he's just phenomenal. But let me know who you voted for. What do you think of today's content? I think overall, overall it's a small win um, on the balance of things. Like As I say, this Kimbembe, small win, I think, just maybe a little bit overpriced. Um, the Summer Heat voting, a big, big win. 100% uh, behind that. And marquee matchups, three out of the four are a win, but the Barcelona's a big L, so overall, possibly a small L, I think. Uh, and then marquee moments is a win. So yeah, on the grand scheme of things, I'd say it's about a 55% win, <laughs> or 60% win for today's content. But what do you think? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.